Hi, good morning, K3. It's Monday today, and I'm so happy to be here with you. This is our math and number skills class. Let's get started. Let's start with our friend's bow. One, two, three. I have a friend who knows my name. We have great fun when we play. We never argue or push or help. We always help each other out. I have a friend and you do too. This is true because my friend is you. That's right. Super duper. Now, I want you to look up here at the board. And look, there's Jack and there's Jane. And Jack took a long step. <gasps> wow. And here's Jane. And we'll go over here for Jane. And she took a shorter step. <gasps> Can you see? Jack took a longer step and Jane took a shorter step. Oh, wow. Now look what I have here. I have a piece of yarn. Dun, 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 dun. Look at this piece of yarn. Now we have another piece of yarn. That's longer. It's really long. Wow, can you see it? It's long, long, long. This string is shorter. This piece of yarn is shorter. And this piece of yarn is longer. Wow, let's look at it one more time. This piece of yarn is shorter. And this piece of yarn is Longer. Oh, I can. Oh, I almost can't do it, but I can do it. I can do it. Yes, I can. Here we go. It's a longer piece of yarn. So we use the words longer and shorter to talk about the length of an object. Let me say that again. We use the words longer. and shorter to talk about the length of an object. Now, I have some blocks here. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Let's make a little tower with seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, Let's see if I put it back here a little. Seven! There's seven blocks. Now let's make another tower with three blocks. One, two, three. If you have blocks, you can make these blocks with me. And you can also take long steps and shorter steps. But now, focus on the blocks. Okay. This tower is taller and this tower is shorter. Did you notice that we used a different taller and shorter? Taller and shorter. Taller shorter. We use the words taller and shorter to talk about the height of a person, an animal, or an object. Okay? The height, how high it is. So taller and shorter. And the other way, when we're just measuring, we're not measuring the height, this is longer. Longer and shorter, okay? But when we're doing height to see how tall, like you could see how tall you are. Taller, this 
this tower is taller and this tower is shorter. Can you make a tower and compare taller and shorter? Yeah? Okay, let's do another one. Let's see. Let's do a tower with six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's do another tower with four. One, two, three, four. Which tower is taller? <gasps> yes, the one with six blocks is taller. And which tower is shorter? <gasps> that one's shorter. Very good. You guys are just amazing, amazing. We learned new vocabulary today. Now, number skills paid. And we're learning about the S. Remember that if it's more than one, we're going to put an S. So there's two pages, so we need to put pages, just like letters. We're going to do pages. Ah, that's called plural, more than one. We're going to get our number skills out. And we're going to open it up to page 19, 1, 10, and 9 ones. And you're going to write your name up here at the top of the page nice and neatly. And look, it's a jack in the box. Pop goes the weasel all around the cobbler's bench. The monkey chased the weasel. Monkey was all in fun. Pop goes the weasel. It says one, fill in the circle under the number your teacher says. Look, here's some ovals and they're different colors. Here's a yellow oval. Can you fill in the circle underneath the number seven? Seven, super. Now we're gonna go over here to the green oval. Can you fill in the circle under the number nine? Nine, awesome. Now let's go to the pink oval. Can you fill in the circle under the number six? Six? Awesome, awesome. Oh, here's a blue oval. Can you fill in the circle under the number 10? 10? You got it. Here's a purple oval. Can you fill in the circle under the number two? Two? Super. Last one. Here is an orange oval. Can you fill in the circle under the number zero? Zero? Wow! You guys are just amazing. Look, here's a little girl and she's, she has a jump rope and she's jumping. Jump, jump, jump with the jump rope. And it says trace and write. We have number one, two, three, and four. You're going to trace and then you're going to write. Awesome! And now we're going to have some fun with numbers. There's 10 numbers hidden in this picture. You need to find them and circle all 10 numbers. Okay, you can do it. And then color the picture. This is page number 20. Okay, and that's our number skills class for today. Thanks for being amazing. Keep learning and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.